Hi, I'm Johnny Moran. I'm Dallas Taylor. And this is What We're Watching. So Dallas had a chance to preview this week's episode of Finding Your Roots, Eye of the Beholder. So this episode featured three artists, Marina Abramovich, Alejandro Iñárritu, and Kinhinde Wiley. Marina is a bit of a extreme artist. They showed a clip of her doing this thing with the bow and arrow. She's standing in front of it and another man is pulling it directly towards her. I had to look away because I couldn't see what was gonna happen there. Alejandro is an award-winning director and Kehinde Wiley is a very, uh, I guess, popular artist. He does art and music. So Alejandro, his ancestors, mostly on his great-grandfather and his great-great-grandfather, they were very, I guess, stubborn. So there was a Mexican revolution, uh, some workers, they didn't like how they were being paid or how they were being treated, so they protested. Um, they went to court and the justice, which was Alejandro's grandfather, I believe, he sided with the workers. And Alejandro, he was very, very inspired by that. His ancestors, they were, they were stubborn and they sided with the workers. He was very impressed and very inspired by that. And he also mentioned that knowing his mother, knowing his mother very hard-headed and very stubborn. And he says in the episode, I can, I can see where a mother gets it from. So that was a really cool thing to see. And I'm always interested in seeing that part of this show. You can watch Finding Your Roots, Eye of the Beholder, Tuesday at 8 p.m. So then the Ken Burns documentary, Central Park 5, comes on right after Finding Your Roots. Yes, this is a documentary on the story of the Central Park 5. Of course, done by Ken Burns, which anything done by Ken Burns is gonna grip you right from the start. So this story is about, if you're not familiar, five young boys, there was a rape in Central Park and the police tried to link the rape to what they were doing. And it's a very interesting story and just how the police manipulated these kids and sort of used their intimidation on these kids to get them to confess to something that they eventually didn't do, spoiler alert. It also seemed to be the media kind of working hand in hand with the police to carry out this, this unjust uh, sentence against these young men. Right, the media definitely painted a large picture on these kids. They immediately put guilt upon these kids, which of course, when the media starts to spread stuff, it gets to everybody and they start to believe what the media says and the police are putting out their stories and it's all just this big corroborated story. So in the documentary, there's a clip of uh, the mayor, Koch, saying this will be a test for the justice system, which it was the other way around, which I right. thought that was interesting. He kind of got boxed himself in there. Did anybody who originally came out against these five people uh, ever backpedal or apologize for throwing them under the bus? I didn't see anything as far as the mayor or even uh, Cuomo taking anything back, but there are a few journalists in the documentary talking about how it was just such this media-made story and how they just went along with it because it was gripping, it was interesting, and it was powerful and it got people's attention. So a lot of journalists saying we should have maybe second thought and did our research. You can watch Central Park 5 Tuesday at 9 p.m. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next week.